in America today, especially when it comes to our health. You know, we the people has become more of an entitlement than a, a, a signal or a sign of responsibility. You know, we the people want what we want, when we want it, how we want it, the way we want it. And if we break ourselves or make ourselves sick in the process, then we the people want the best medical care so that we the people can be fixed. Our health care system can be likened to water rescue. We have got the best system in the world at pulling people out of the water, right? Because the current is pretty swift and people are getting swept downstream and here we are downstream. Not upstream, we're downstream, right? Search and destroy, diagnose and treat is downstream. And here comes somebody else. Well, let's, let's get out there and let's pull them out of the water with chemotherapy. Let's get out there and pull them out of the water with surgery. We're very good at water rescue, but here's what we haven't done. We haven't stopped to think why are, these pa why are these people falling in the water in the first place? How are they getting in the water? There's this little verse that goes like this. A lone man going a lone highway came at evening cold and gray to a chasm vast, deep, and wide through which was flowing a sullen tide. The old man crossed in the twilight dim. The sullen stream held no fears for him. But he turned when safe on the other side, and he built a bridge to span the tide. Old man, said a fellow pilgrim near, you're wasting strength with building here. Your journey will end with the ending day. You never again must pass this way. You have crossed the chasm deep and wide. Why build you the bridge at the eventide? The builder lifted his old gray head. Good friend, in the path I have come, he said, there follows after me today a youth whose feet must pass this way. This chasm that has been naught to me, to that fair-haired youth may a pitfall be. He too must cross in the twilight dim. Good friend, I am building the bridge for him. See, and that's the attitude. We've got to take that attitude back to our workplace. Take it back to your home, take it back to your family, but take it into your workplace and commit to being a bridge builder. I'm a person that believes that when you approach benefits, you really need a philosophy. You need a vision. If you look at benefits as a commodity, you're going to kill yourself and drive yourself crazy because you're going to be trying to figure out how I can get this for less than that you know, it's interesting when you break down the cost of health care, about 14% of it is administration and, uh, and what it takes to administer and adjudicate and process things. 86% is claims. Yet, when we think about it, we spend 90% of our, our time chasing a nickel and not paying attention to the dollar. And, and we, need to, we need to develop a philosophy that considers everything and it must consider wellness because 75% of the cost of health care can be attributed to self-preventable disease. When you're delivering benefits to your people, you don't want to send your people to mybluecross.com for their medical, and mymet.com for their dental, and myunum.com for their disability, and myinnovativewellness.com for their wellness, and you know, whatever.com for, you right? You need a total benefit solution at the hub. So as an employer, Philosophically, we believe you want the capacity to partner with best of breed without affecting your whole benefits plan and not having to put your eggs all in one basket. That's why we think it's important to have a total benefit solution technology at the center of it. I want us to be about delivering an approach to managing benefits and managing the escalating cost of benefits that's comprehensive that's innovative, that's creative, and that embraces all the needs that an employer has.